much on this. Which is, uh, what well, I don't mind. It's doing what I wanted, which is to get Republicanism explained. Now, we're going to move on to the other steps soon, but to begin with, I need to tell you about the trees and family. We, who are Republicans very publicly, live with the trees and family all the time. Nobody's been prosecuted since 1916. It doesn't specifically mention Republicanism. It mentions anybody who advocates getting rid of the monarchy. Okay? Now, in 2003, The Guardian tried to test this and what they did was, on the 50th anniversary of the Queen, when there were a lot of anti-monarchy protests, they, they went to court and they said, how will we be treated if we report these protests? And they took it all the way to the House of Lords. And on a procedural matter, their appeal was, was dismissed. But Lord Stein said that the Treason Felony Act could not stand up against the Human Rights Act of 1998. So we're playing on a contradiction in the law. We're mocking the law. Okay? Nobody was going to get in trouble. Okay? <laughs> Apart from me, because I put it in the writing. Okay? Here's the writing. I was under tremendous pressure. And in the eternal order of the universe, when buttered toast lands, buttered side down, my printer decided to play up. <laughs> and so I just didn't have time to make more than 20 copies. <laughs> so I have 20 copies here. So I can just give 20 copies to people who want them. Yeah, who are pretty good. Welsh Republicans like their flags, okay? But not all of them. I mean, I, I, to understand Welsh Republicanism, they're the very prominent ones who march around with flags, and I call them the black factions, okay? They wear black, and I'm a white. I'm a pacifist. I don't like militarism. I don't see any need for this. So, yeah. what I was anticipating this, is not a flag ceremony like that, but a very friendly flag ceremony, a simple citizen's flag ceremony for people who practice their conscience in respect to society. Okay? But Marianne can come back. <laughs> I'll introduce these two flags. In the French Revolution, <coughs> A man from Caerphilly called David Williams, who was a very prominent educationalist and writer on radical matters, was invited to Paris. And he is the man who drafted the Declaration of the Rights of Man. That's a feather in our cap for Welsh Republicanism. Okay? This is the this is 200 years or so before the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. This is his flag, okay? The red, white, and green. This is the correct flag in terms of exilography to be derived from the red dragon flag. This flag dates from 1949. This was taken from the Earth. The Earth had a flag which was white at the top red in the middle, green in the bottom. The people who used this flag turned it on its side as a trickle. Which flag would you like to use? <laughs> the first one, 1792. Human Rights International Assembly. Excellent. I'd like to introduce my friend Marianne. 
Mariam and I belong to a group of people who have been talking about everything for 25, 30 years. And she agreed to do this. Now in France, Marianne is the symbol of the French Republic. We have a symbol as well. Uruladis Udith, the landlady of freedom. Thank you. 